Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I'm gonna show you my AD5 Sky Raider. It's a 148 scale, it says Rebel on the box. Now, once I got it open, it actually said Matchbox, uh, so it's actually a reboxed kit, but we'll get into that in just a minute. First, I wanna talk about a little history of the Sky Raider. It started out being called the AD, and uh, it actually earned a nickname called Able Dog because of that AD designation in the beginning. But uh, after a while, they did a federal standard where it became an A1, A-1, and then the sub variants. Um, now, this particular model that you're going to look at is actually an A1G, or by the old designation, an AD5N. Now the reason why I say that it's an AD5N, even though the box art calls it A1E, it has four seats in it. Now the only aircraft that, uh, that they built with four seats was a night attack version, the AD5N. So I'm calling this the AD5N or A1G. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about the model in just a moment, but to wrap up the history on the airplane, 3,180 uh, aircraft were built total. So um, it was known basically as a search and rescue aircraft, although some of the variants were electronic warfare, uh, night attack, you, you name it, uh, it pretty much did it. All right, so. This is a very simple kit. And like I said in the beginning of my video, it's an, a, uh, an old matchbox kit that's been reboxed by Ravel. some improvements to the aircraft uh, there is a scoop that's just forward of the windscreen it's it's an air scoop to uh, help keep the supercharger cool on the uh, the engine uh, I went ahead and opened up that scoop so it looks like it's a functional scoop I put exhaust on the engine I tried to detail the engine as best I could there was a lot of details missing I probably could have done better but you know, for the, for the level of this kit, I, I just kind of left it the way it was. I added uh, some components into the rear cockpit on, on this kit because it was missing a lot of things. There were just a couple seats back there, but there was nothing there. I added a aerial antenna to the top of the aircraft, and I also colored or dyed the rear canopy blue. Now, another thing that you're going to notice is that this aircraft is painted in the deep sea blue color. Now, the Navy did not use that after the 1950, basically after Korea, the Navy went away from the dark or the deep sea blue paint scheme and they went to a, a gold gray and white paint scheme. But because this is a night attack aircraft, now this might not be accurate, but I figured because it's a night attack aircraft, it would probably do a lot better as a deep sea blue than it would be as a dull gray. So I painted it blue. Um, the decals that I put on it are my own uh, kind of fictitious um, because I wanted it to be a Navy aircraft and the only decal sheet I had for this uh, particular model said Marines on it. Now I'm nothing against the Marines, but like I said, I I'm building Navy aircraft and I wanted it to be a Navy aircraft. So I actually kind of built my own or made my own decals for it. Now this is a fictitious squadron VBF-17, uh, not real sure if they even existed, I don't think they did, but this is what I think it would look like.
Now, another quick note is the gun pods underneath the wing. I saw pictures while I was doing my research of some of the ADs that had these gun pods on them. And I decided to scratch build my own gun pods. I built them out of a couple of drop tanks and some sprue to make it look like the Gatlin gun muzzle coming out the front of the pod. So those are hand built. Uh, that was something else that I did that may or may not be historically accurate on this model, but they look pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I'd greatly appreciate that. Thumbs up if you like the video. And remember, pay attention to the details. God bless you. See you. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.